Well, today the journey starts. Off up to Dalat from Saigon. So it's going to take a little while getting out of Saigon because very busy the traffic and you get all types of crazy geezers around like this fella here on the right. On the phone. <laughs> Got nothing else better to do. Ah, nice bike, Triumph. Yes. That's a nice sound from it. I like that. Yes, well, on my way to Dalat, roughly 297 kilometers. Going from about 20 meters above sea level up to 1500 meters. So now we take the first steps. Da 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 da! The only thing I don't really like about the part of the journey is this because the traffic at this time is like uh, crazy very very crazy mind you if I left an hour earlier it would have been even worse because of the school kids or the parents taking the children to school they would have been on the roads as well Beep. Jeez. <laughs> see what I mean <laughs> Yes, riding in Vietnam is never a dull day, especially in big towns. When you drive out the countryside, totally different, so relaxed, so peaceful. Uh, you just get crazy people carrying water buffaloes on the back of the bike or something like that. <laughs> on the right, old French colonial houses. There's still quite a few of them hanging around, but in the Dalat, they're all over the place. Because Dalat was built by the French. A gentleman called Yersin, a doctor, he built a hospital there because of the climate. It's not humid up there, it can get hot, it can also get bloody cold as well. And, uh, but the thing is though, you don't get that damn humidity. Ooh, you can't do anything with that. So, you turn left here, and go over two rivers, and hopefully get onto the highway. And then I take a left to go up through the countryside. That's the way I'm going to Dalat. Vietnamese like to make their own rules up. Like that couple on the bike there, that's just for cars and that, not for bikes. He should be on this lane. And this is where the traffic starts to take over the bike lane. Yeah. There you go, in an accident. Oh well. I'm just getting out of Saigon now, thank God. That's one way of riding, but if the police catch you... <laughs> we are now off the highway, going north and south, Saigon to Hanoi. We've taken the left turn, and now we're on our way to Dalat. And as you can see, look at that. Much better view, isn't it? It is nice. Dalat, beautiful town, very hilly, it's up and down, up and down, and uh, it was started by a guy called Yersin, Dr. Yersin. He built a hospital there because the climate there is much better than the climate down on sea level, because down here you get humidity and heat. Oh, it's, yeah, it's a killer. But in Dalat, you don't get the humidity. You can still get the heat, but it's cooler at night time. You know, you can take a shower, dress up, go out, 
and still feel good. Do that down here when it's got the humidity in that. You pop the, yourself out the door, you are soaking wet with sweat, just like that. Just like that, yes. So it's got a nice climate. I would say it's equivalent to uh, the Mediterranean, in a sense. Uh, it's nice. And the scenery up there, uh, many places, reminds me of Scotland. Got the lakes, got the mountains, and uh, the, the fir trees. Wow, what a beautiful day. Oh my God, it's lovely. And thankfully the traffic is gone. Now I'm arriving in Dalat and that's the lake that's quite famous for Dalat. I'll tell you what, it's bloody cold up here. I had to put a liner underneath my jacket but I think I put it on a bit too late because I feel freaking cold and my body ain't warming up. Anyway, near my hotel so happy about that. Come on people, thank you.
Oh, she died. Oh my god. Oh, why are they driving so slow? Well, here we are. And this is some of the hotels. There's loads of hotels in this place. Loads, but I'm going to my favorite little one. So I shall say good night to you and see you in the morning. And I'll take you around the lot and I'll show you some of it. Yes. Take care, all until tomorrow.